All right, my lovers, how you doing? As you can see, I'm with my buddy, Bottle Digger, Tim. <laughs> Say hello, Tim. Hello, Tim. <laughs> so as you can see, we are gonna be digging today in this glorious woods, and Tim's just told me he's had a little find up straight off the, uh, yeah, first first find we can get today. It's a good sign. What you got, Tim? I don't know exactly what it is, but I know it's a ginger beer. Oh, let's get some luck in the mark. We don't know whether it's printed or plain or there it is. Oh, beauty. It's just got a nice shape. Lovely. Oh, oh, it's got some embossings. Quite a bit, bit above the bit above the ordinary level. Property of Matlock. Oh, nice. It's a nice London one. Yes, not far. Property of the Matlock Company, I think that says. Brilliant. What a great little find. 1890s. Made by Lovett. Superb. Uh, nice little thing. Well done, Tim. Excellent work. Let's get some more luck in the muck. Luck in the muck. <laughs> Can't believe it. It's Queen Victoria. How you doing, Mark? Oh. <laughs> A little later, I cleaned it up and added some white acrylic paint into the embossing to show the name up better. It's strange to think that in Victorian times, that health spas were a thing. Well, they were, and that is what the Matlock Mineral Water Company got its name from. It was based in Derbyshire, and the upper classes would visit the retreat in Matlock that contained natural springs and claimed to treat various ailments. Marketing natural springs as palaces of health was a common occurrence due to the fears that people had with a regular water supply that could carry waterborne diseases such as cholera in the cities. Pure natural water was seen as a bit of a luxury and from the spas came these disposable drinks. Unusually on this bottle we can see the date 1900 which helps us to date this tip and realise everything we uncover is well over 100 years old. See Simon just getting into the scene. Looks uh, promising doesn't it? What a lovely day for digging. Damp, but not raining. Well, I've started a little hole, a new little hole today in the old, what we call the swamp cut. Don't we, Tim? Because it is a we do. mighty wet one. We've got buckets here, we're bailing out. It just fills up instantly. Wet, wetter than a rainforest. A bit of a hard dig, but I um, thought I'd found a nice little bottle here. Look, I just pulled it out. I'm wearing gloves normally, but it's nice, um, definitely a nice little interesting. W Brandon trademark with bow on it. So does that mean it's from Bow? Virginia, Virginia Rose. Rose. I wonder if that's Bow. It says East London, doesn't it? Did I see East London uh, on it? Say East? Oh yeah, East. So yeah. I wonder if that's from Bow. Could be. Yeah, that's like a little. It's bow, obviously isn't their it? trademark, but I wonder if it, 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 they, they've used that trademark because they're from Bow. Oh, it's some right on the back as well. I think that's probably the Barnsley Barnsley bottle maker, but a local, on the base. a local beer. Blank, but I like that. That's a good little cut down. That's lovely. Nice little slab impressed, um, you know, uh, kind of uh, embossed. Probably a beer bottle, I would imagine. Yeah, lovely London beer. I know the top's gone, but that's all right. We can cut it down and we can uh, we can upcycle it, and uh, that look quite cool, I think, with some pens and paintbrushes in, like I usually do. So happy with that first little find. On with nutwood. Well done. Well, it's not very often we get to see a photo of the person who was responsible for manufacturing the bottles we find. But thanks to the website spittlefieldslife.com, on this occasion, we can. Not only is William Brandon present, he is gathered with his staff outside his named premises in Virginia Road in Bethnal Green, East London. He stands proudly behind a lovely display of his mineral waters. You never know, our bottle could be in this picture. Unlikely, but possible. Remember the bow tie embossed on the bottle? Well, amazingly, the same logo is used on the sign above as well. How cool is that? So I've carefully cut down, sanded and lacquered this bottle and it can be used now for drinking or holding paintbrushes and that sort of thing. So if you want to buy it, go and check out my Etsy store. The link is in the description below. Now don't forget, for one more week, all shipping on Mud Lover merch is free. So go and check out all the hats, hoodies, patches and t-shirts on Etsy now.
Well, first little mini Bovril, or Bovril, or Marmite at the seam. Looks in good nick. Oh, that's cute. Looks in good nick, actually. Uh, yeah, a little, I don't know, half an ounce Bovril, I think they are. Will be one ounce, can't remember. Yeah, happy with that. Very common, but very cute. But lovely in the window sill. All that amber brown coming through. Wouldn't you agree, Tim? Yes, I would, Simon. <laughs> You're after your cutters, isn't you? Yeah, it's a sample. <laughs> Thank you very much. And the cut Oh, I've nicked, I've nicked all his gear. Thank you. Got, he's got all the gear, and I've got no idea. Well, um, as I was handing Tim back his tools, tools for Tim, uh, he told me this is a sample size, so not a, half, not a one ounce or a half an ounce even. This is a slightly more desirable mini little sampler. So happy with that. I do like my miniatures, as do a lot of us. So yeah, trying to spot them in this gloop might be a bit tricky today, but we'll give it a go. Sometimes you just put the spade in and see what beauties come up. And as I was saying that, I've got a spoonful of gloop and I've lifted it up, look, see what they are? Can you work out what that is? Yay, it's a little hexagonal ink. Lovely. Full of gloop, full of mud. And uh, yeah, pretty good condition actually. So taking a very gentle approach to this so I don't break anything, but that's looking really, really positive. Handsome little inkwell, beautiful. Here he is, Tim in his hole. In his lovely hole, what you got in your hole then, Tim? Just pulled out, I can see it just come out on the end of the spade. Oh, that's a nice one. Looks like a blue. Yeah, do the honours, man. Do so the honours. I haven't honors. cleaned it yet, but I thought I'd cover you a shout. Yeah, for you, I know. Call me over. We'll like a bit of action. We do like to see things come out as they uh, in the action, found. in the seam action. Oh, nice. That's a lovely shape, I'm isn't it? Try not to drop it. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Oh, poison. And it's got a decent bit of wording on that because that's. A bit better than the standard not to be taken. Yeah, I love that. It's got the word poison as well, it makes it that. And it looks in great condition, doesn't it? In terms of like, it doesn't look too sick at the moment. Yeah, it's all there. It might even give you the the size of it on the base. So I saw mould number. Oh yeah, eight, eight, eight ounce. ounce. There you go. Well done, Tim. Lovely jubbly. Very <laughs> pleased. Look, you can see how lovely it looks in the light there, can't you? Look how much that lovely cold baked blue is pinging in that. Uh, Grey, horrible, cloudy sky. I think it's going to rain today, but we're happy with finding bottles like that, we've aren't got we? got some pieces coming out. Sweet. Lovely find that. Really pleased with yeah, that. Sweet. Well, Tim, I know my hole isn't as big as yours, but I called you over to see what this was because I know your expertise was going to come in handy here. So come down here and have a look at this little thing. So I've got um, something in the hole here. I thought it might be a ginger jar, and I saw a little guy poking it out, and I saw a bit right. So I called you over. And look. There you go. Oh, that's, oh lovely. <laughs> what a beaut. Shame the top's gone, but. That could be quite rare. Forbes. Cunningham and Bond. Excalibur, Scotch Irish whiskies. That's probably worth, well, I'd say it is worth oh, restoring. Really? Oh, cool. That's a good find. That looks like a rare item. Yeah, it would have had a handle there. So yeah, what a cracker. That's nice, isn't it? No, yeah, that really is a good find. Same as no whiskey left, it's just all full of mud. So that would have been a water jug, I think. Oh, really? So it would have had a wide, a wide top on it and a handle. Yeah. So it was an advertising piece to advertise. Oh. It would have been on the table, probably in the pub. Yeah. And I think that's a water jug. Nice. Good Ad Advertising the Irish whiskey. What, a, what an amazing find that that's is. That's nice, isn't it? I love all the... Um, I haven't had a proper look here yet, but Flippin' Nicky's got a sword. Amazing. That no, really is. That's a cracking find. <laughs> Honestly, that's a cracking find. Oh, sweet as. Really I good. I would do the old, uh, but I'm no longer going to get a mouth. Go on, do much, it. But, do um, it. No, I don't think so. That would have been a silly idea. <laughs> yeah, when, it, when it's such a gaping hole like that, I'm not going to... Um, no, that's around. a tremendous find. That, that is star, star find. Oh, cheers, dude. Happy that. I love Amazing. The little, um, I love the white uh, embossing on it as well. And I would imagine that is super rare because I've never seen one. Wow, well, we'll do some research on but that. But once you research it, you'll find out, because I'm not, by any means, no expert on, no. on these uh, whiskey water jugs, but I know that oh, they're highly, little, um, highly desirable, highly a, collectible. Uh, a very fancy looking Dalton. Nice, lovely Dalton stamp. Yeah. You'll be able to date it, I'm sure, from that. Nice. Wicked, yeah, right. What a good find. Let's carry on. That's phenomenal. <laughs> that really is. This white being broken? Yeah. Oh, it's nice, isn't it? I mean, 
Well guys, this floated up, it was stuck in there. Give it a quick wiggle, and I'm gonna share it with you. See a bit of writing on there. Let's see what it says. Oh, nice. And it's got the stopper in as well. Beautiful, oh. Tim, there's some contents in there, mate. You, you been thirsty? I'm getting hungry. Do you want a bit of a uh, alabaster? That's, that's a nice looking beer. Drink, J and R. Yeah, what alabaster. London, that's what it says. Oh, it's lovely. Yeah, it's probably the lemonade. Lemonade or ginger beer. Well, I'm, get, nice. I'm getting a bit thirsty, so I might uh, crack her open and see if there's anything in it. Great find. <laughs> really good. This gorgeous bottle was made by a drinks manufacturer, Richard James Alabaster. He took over the famous Beatty brand when he went bankrupt in 1881. They made ginger beer, lemonade, sodas and ambrosia, which was a delicious, sparkling ballroom drink. Should we crack her open and see if it still smells of lemonade? Drink it. I'll drink it if there's, if it's, you uh, drink all of that, do you know what? Sock. It's got a little bit of, um, you'll do what? Eat my sock, no. eat your sock. Oh guys, this is so funny. If you haven't seen the video, go and check it out. I'll put a link at the end. Basically, me and Tim have a little bet and the loser has to, oh no, Tim had to eat his sock. Um, so if you haven't seen it, go and check it out. I'll put a link at the end. That was a funny day, wasn't it, mate? Yeah, <laughs> Anyway, let's see what's inside this. See if there's any, um, let's see if it smells of lemonade or maybe just rank water. We'll see. <laughs> well, hopefully we'll, we'll be able to open this without too much. Oh, a few bubbles there. Oh look, that, that doesn't look very appetising, does it? Nice bit of root ginger. Doesn't smell much, to be honest. It's not the same, it might be something really foul. What does it taste like? No. <laughs> Do you know what? It didn't give a hiss and there was a root inside it, so, which means it wasn't airtight, so I'm not going to be dumb enough to drink that. No. But um, it looks cloudy as well, which probably would have been cloudy back in the day, wouldn't it, or lemonade? Yeah, I reckon that's lemon or lime. But if I had that, I'd... Or ginger. It might smell a very, very, very hint of lemon I'm getting into it. Yes. Yeah, Victorian lemon. <laughs> a bit of a bouquet. Is. Exactly. Where did it go? Anyway, there it is. Right, okay, next next final we go. <laughs> oh, look at Tim, he's all prepared. That Mary Poppins with your little umbrella. Well, once I've actually got a brolly. <laughs> What's that in your tea? That Coffee. Oh, there's a little pot in there. Rain. Oh. <laughs> yeah, something living. You sure you didn't just scoop it out of that? Oh. <laughs> Gone, whatever it was. So I've got the big fork out now. Had a little look in this little hole. Clay pipe came out. Oh, on a root as well. Let's get that pipe out first. Got some writing on it. Says Cork, Ireland's nearly complete. Sadly, uh, broken that side. Oh, look good in the uh, shadow box, eh? Perfect. <laughs> nice little find. Cork, cork. A little bit of decoration on the heel. Yeah, I'll take that. Well, it just came up. It's a little cork. How funny is that? It's found a pipe with the cork on. They found a very old cork. Maybe that pipe was uh, psychic. <laughs> Knew what I was gonna find next. I wanna find a pipe next with the word gold on it or something. Ah, <laughs> oh, Tim's had a little dig. It just goes to show it's, um, it, it pays to uh, get the spoil because Ooh. I dug this probably quite some time ago and didn't realize. It shows you how easy it is to throw things out. And oh not yeah, spoil it. gotta be oh. careful. I was just knocking a bit of the earth back in, or back filling. Uh huh. Well, I didn't actually spot it coming out, and there it was. Nice work. I don't know if it's any good. Looks nice. Well, Two it poisons you've had. Yeah, it's yeah. complete. <laughs> that's lovely, mate. Well, and that's just the normal not to be taken. Yeah. Which is still nice. Four ounces, is it, or something? Uh, let's have a look. Less than that. Two ounces. I don't know. Yeah, B. What was the other one? Eight, wasn't Eight, it? Yeah, so that's going to be like. There's no number on that, but Two. that's probably. Great yeah, three, three or four, like you said. Lovely three condition. Outs. Beautiful. Keep going, yeah. Loving that, loving that. Oh, Oh, 
battery. An ugly little base of nothing. You're hauling for your hair. Oh yeah, it's a nice one, isn't it? And your little viral, viral, however you pronounce it. Bone marrow for the invalids and children. That's a nice cute one, isn't it? Yeah. Usually they look bigger. Yeah, it's a tiddler. Uh, it's a tiddler. Tim's tiddler. What <laughs> you got? Show us, Tim. What you got? What you got? What you got? got a quad pot. Ooh. Use a little rinse. Like these, these are lovely. I do love them. Particularly, uh, Ooh, yeah, nice. Interesting with the with the eagles. Look. Yeah, they're they're packing little pipes. Yeah. How are you going to get all that off? Looks pretty. Well, it needs to just be cleaned gently to start with. And hey, you probably scratch with, off. Yeah, with a scouring pad <laughs> or a Brillo pad. So that's all you need, mate. Nothing bit... too British Museum, but no, no, nice, nice, nice pipe. Beautiful. It's a keeper. Well, taking my gloves off and they're getting wetter and wetter to show you this find. I think give it something quite good. Just see that poking out the mud there. Oh, is it good? Oh, is it plain? Oh no, oh no. Ooh. Oh, that's a nice chemist. Oh yeah, PH Galloway Limited. Qualified chemist, London. SE17, that's a beauty. I think these are fairly common but they are lovely embossing what a beautiful piece to display on the windowsill those are lovely lettering yeah happy with that well not all finds come out of the hole are bottle types they're also crockery types and it's really cool look the stadium club lovely bit of history there lovely bit of shard what the stadium club was I'm sure do some research oh, i can see a little I can see a pair of boxing gloves at the top. It's like a badminton racket to the left. And a strange little uh, thing to the right. And I dropped it in there. So I was delighted with this little shard before I dropped it back in the hole. Check out this advertisement for the Stadium Club in Holborn, Central London, by which, in their own words, was the leading rendezvous for amateur sport. The caption reads, Stadium nights are a famous feature of the club at which all sportsmen gather for the wonderful displays of boxing, fencing and wrestling, etc. And the Prince of Wales, that's the future King Edward, is a regular visitor. There was also no tax on the betting there, which probably added to its popularity. Well, this has popped up. Nice little OXO mug. OXO is a beef extract. We know it more really for stock these days. Put it in a sort of beef recipe, but obviously drunk it as well. But sadly, it's broken in half. Obviously, a very old break. But along with the pipe, probably quite nice in a little shadow box. It's got the best bits there, isn't it? Look, yeah, happy with that. Nice long neck bottle sticking out the gloop. Ah, very pretty. Just a plain one, a little sauce, but quite an early one. Lovely green colour. Little um, sheer top lip. Yeah, I love finding these, very cool. Well, just had this interesting thing out the uh, at the mood. This is on it. Clothes. Uh -huh. Is it a, uh, I don't know, not sure, clothes, lever, lever for something, yeah nice, one to close on. <laughs> well my lovers, I think this is a first for me, if any of you guys can remember me finding one of these before, then uh, let me know. I don't think I found one, other people have, and Tim's found one earlier, and now it's my turn. Check out this lovely claw pipe. There we go, look at that. Okay, not complete because it's broken, but lovely claw pipe bowl. Yeah, well, 
I might have found one, but I can't remember. It must have been a very long time ago if I have done. So yeah, made up with that. Like a dragon's claw holding an egg or something like that. Not the most rarest of finds, but some people just don't find certain things, and I'm pretty sure I haven't found one before. You even see a little claw there holding it together. Love it. And it's better than Tim's. <laughs> How's your dirty claws? Are they as clean as that? Oh look. Yeah, mine's not quite um, quite on the same scale as yours. Well yours got a lot more scale. A lot uh, more cleaning to do. Yeah, luckily for me mine's nice and clean. Yeah, well done. Cheers dude, happy with that. Tim, found that, we're drinking. I would say that's a change dish. So probably would have sat on a reception in a hotel or more than likely on, yeah. a, on a tray. Uh, way to bringing you over your drinks and it would have been on the tray for you to give them a tip or yeah or you put your change on it and leave it on the table so it's called a change dish makes sense because there's no room in there to put your saucer no which is what got me uh, a little bit confused so, so yeah a little change dish little change bowl yeah it's lovely isn't it yeah well done mate you can still just about make out the, the print on the back yeah. as well thank you so much cheers for your well, knowledge welcome mm, i'll let you smile in never see that it happens occasionally but it's normally <laughs> by accident or wind it could be wind. <laughs> Well, typical Tim, isn't it? It stops raining, sun comes out, it's time to go. Yeah, it's been uh, entertaining, isn't it? It has. Let's take a quick look at some of our finds. Well, that is a bleeding good collection for a few hours digging, don't you think? It is. I think it's what really good. What's your favourite finds then, Tim? Uh, I like your whiskey. Oh. <laughs> I meant one of your finds, your to be honest, jump. but yeah, I'm, uh, I'm absolutely happy with that. It's interesting, isn't it, with the Excalibur and the Yeah. Sea. Really yeah, it's uh, mad. Quite a nice thing. An Irish whiskey, or Scotch and Irish whiskey. Like you say, bit of an advertising piece while people are drinking water at the bar. I mean, he drinks water in a bar, but I know. Exactly, maybe it goes <laughs> in the whiskey, who knows. So, um, yeah, nice uh, ginger beer. Wicked. From Matlock, so not a, the most common one. Nice, that's a lovely little Don't find. Don't find them very often. I was hoping I'd find a ginger beer because I found a fragment of one there, yeah, a little oh. printed one, Lambeth. Established 1730. That'd be yeah, one to find again in the future. Oh, that's nice. Is that vinaigrette? It has salad, salad oil or... Uh -huh. Could okay. be vinegar, but I think it's got a feeling it's salad oil and it's got uh, the cork in and still got the oil in it. Oh, really? You can see it looks a bit oily as well, it does, doesn't, doesn't it? it? Yeah. Well done. So see. that's unusual. Yeah. It's nice Ew. fluted glass. So that's a nice thing for display. Cook your eggs on that later. A nice uh, poison not to be taken. A little bit... Um, Tiny bit scarcer than a normal not to be taken. Yeah, love it. So nicer to find them with all that extra wording. Beautiful. And another not to be taken poison, which is uh, always nice to pull those out. They're very popular. Yeah, love them. Miniature viral. Beautiful. And then uh, the usual oxos and bovrils and standard stuff. Nice. Great day, mate. Well done. Thank Talking you. of oxo, got myself a half oxo cup. Yeah. <laughs> so. You could put it in a display cabinet, couldn't you, like that? <laughs> um, yeah, a little shadow box or something like that. But yeah, like, like Tim said, this is a, a mega find for me. Hopefully it's a bit on the rare side. I'd have to do some research on that, obviously, and uh, come back to you on that. But yeah, had a good day. Didn't see all these bottles come up because some of them are plain. Um, but interesting little um, handle there. Yeah, I was looking at that. Yeah, it's like clothes, but I think it's, it's a lever, isn't it, or something? Yeah. So Maybe off a barrel or something. Open yeah, yeah, close. yeah. It could be off a barrel. Yeah, that makes good sense. Or uh, is it a wall to stop cock uh, sort of uh, handle? Like yeah. Close it off. We'll, we'll do some research and find out. At first, I thought it was like a pulley for a toilet, but it wouldn't say close on it. And no. it would have. That's that's. I think that's that's been. I don't know if it's screwed in or if that's been cut off. But anyway, yeah, we'll do a bit of research on that. So that's really cool. Yeah, lot like Tim's had a couple of bovrils. I've got Beauty and the Beast here. Look at beautiful uh, hexagonal or octagonal, um, yeah, octagonal ink, and it's um, beast of a cousin. It's obviously been in a fire. So we're lucky that a lot of these bottles come out like they do because there's so many um, culprits for fire 
so they would burn a lot of the rubbish before it went into tips which is evident by that um, so yeah and uh, a little cut down contender there I've got another couple of cut downs I think I've got picked up and obviously my complete beer I'm not sure what this is off, off the tin what do you reckon it's like a little um, I don't know little, uh, urn looks like a, yeah it does look like a little urn or um, some sort of trophy like but not a trophy obviously a trophy shape yeah it's like a little uh, vase isn't it yeah, posy vase maybe. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I probably I'm not sure if I'm going to take that. It's a bit worse for wear, but I just thought it was interesting little find. Well, there was um, you had a nice uh, fragment of china, didn't you? Yeah, name on it. I did. My little yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward to do some research on that. And you've got one as well. Charles oh. Spring Hotel, London. Absolutely fantastic. That's really cool. I love the um, chef, not chef, on the, uh, the the top of it there. The decoration on the top. Yeah, the checkers on the top. Yeah, very fancy plate that would have been. And uh, yeah, I did I did find this one again, guys. I did drop it in the uh, back in the soup, but I managed to fish it out again. So we'll see if we can do some research on that if I haven't done so already. Right, all's left to do is to fill in our holes, leave it as we found it, and do some cleanups, some research, and uh, yeah, get out of this um, wood. Till the next time. Yep. See you later, mud lovers. See you later. So I left you hanging there, didn't yeah, I? I did. Oof. <laughs> Well, my lovers, back home now, having a bite to eat with Nelly, and just about to crack on to a lovely upcycle. Now, this whiskey water jar, um, yeah, it's quite a valuable little thing. I've done some research on it, and one sold for three figures. Um, in this condition, probably not worth anywhere near that, but still quite a rare little thing. And most importantly, all the lovely advertising and embossing has still been retained. So um, yeah, what we'll do now, we'll use some of this clay, well pointed out Nelly, um, to create the top of this lip and handle. So let's have a go. See you mate. <laughs> there wasn't much information on the company Forbes, Cunningham and Bond, but I did find a notice in the paper showing an auction for all their stock in consequence of the amalgamation of their business, which probably means they closed down. And not only did they sell whiskey, they also sold port, sherry, tarragona, brandy, and much, much more. Well, just reached uh, halfway point, I'm really happy with it so far. Um, believe it or not, these actually are the heights of the jugs. They are really long necked, so obviously you can get that pour. I might cut it down a little bit just to make the edge a little bit neater, but that is pretty much the height. I'm just gonna go around now and reinforce this because obviously it's a new piece of clay, it can't really hold itself very well. So I'm just gonna add a little bit down the bottom here, but so far, so good. Yeah, looking all right. I mean, it's so hard to add new clay to old clay, but a lot of clean up to do, but first, first sort of 10, 20 minutes has been pretty successful. Uh, not sure how quick this is gonna dry. It's air drying clay. Might have to put a little bit of scaffolding in there just to hold that up. Um, but like I said, I'll keep my eye on it over the next few hours and hold it in place. Well, looking pretty good so far. I'm gonna take some time to clean it a little bit more, make these edges as smooth as I can. That might have mean let it dry out and then um, sanding it back and filling it perhaps. Anyway, now we're gonna do the handle. Just using a bit of paper as a guide for length. Now don't laugh, but I've seen them do this in the pottery programs. To make the handle, they have to stretch it down like that.
with wet, wet, wet hands. <laughs> that seems to be working quite nicely. Oh, it's looking good. Nice little groove in there for the old fingers. So I'll just put a bit of clay in there on the handle so it's got something to grab to. There we go. Just a case of uh, merging it in as nice as we can. There we go. Got some more cleaning up to do. But the essence of it is there um, and it's you know it's not going to be used again it's purely for display so if you can tell from six feet away that it's supposed to be a jug job done Stage one is done. I'll take it outside to show you in the light. Time for a bit of painting. Well, I think that turned out rather well, don't you? Leave me a comment if you think so too. And the pretend flowers I bought from the cancer research shop really gave it a new purpose. For more bottle digging madness, click here. And if you'd like to help me purchase the products for my upcycling, then check out my Patreon for loads of behind the scenes action. And I'll see you next time, mud lovers, for another mud venture. <laughs>